This is Michigan Constitutional Crusader out here, Oxford, Michigan, at the United States Post Office. Gonna see if they're gonna honor their poster seven or not. Hmm. See if we can find poster seven. There it is, right there. The 2007 version. Stamps while you're here? Uh, yeah, please. Like a book, a holiday, or what would you like? Uh, well, how many's in the book? 20. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I just moved into the I'm here still. It's a big deal, so I think okay. I just better go save this. I just mailed something off towards later on the Monday and it got there. Mm 
I'm not in like, no, go ahead. You're wrong. No, no. Yeah, yeah. think that I can't video the back parking. That is ignorant. Jeez.
See, that sign means I can't go up that, that walkway right there. That's what those signs mean. Just like I can't be in that back parking lot up there at that doorway. But the parking lot is wide open. Because they do not have signs out here anywhere. And he's trying to say I can't record the back parking lot. Which is completely wrong. Because if I, if I could see it from the public area, I can record it. Just like I could stand back there in the street right there and record it. Probably a better angle from there. So I guess they're kind of clueless. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to pause this video for the moment. You're wrong. Appreciate you not filming my face. Where are you from? Where are you from, sir? The press. Mm hmm. Okay. You owe me money if you're going to post that anywhere. It'll be on YouTube. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yep. You have a wonderful day, also. You too. Happy holidays. I owe him money. <laughs> That's hilarious. Where do these people get these weird ideas? Another thing I wanted to point out about this post office. Oh, somebody set off their car alarm. That's funny. Anyways, this huge parking lot is completely full of employees. There's like six spaces out front for the public to use. And it's a busy post office. People keep having to go around the block and come back and hope there's an open space. It's pretty crazy. You would think they would have something else figured out. You know, like have the employees park somewhere else. Or something. 
you know, carpool or something, so that there's actual space for the people trying to pick up packages or mail packages and or mail. Kind of crazy. Anyways, I'm going to pause this one more time. You know what I should have said to that guy when he said I owe him money? I should have pulled out a dollar bill and said, I got you a dollar. <laughs> and we're going to pause it. Okay. And there's the Oxford Police Department. Hmm. You're just gonna stand there. What's your ID tag say? What's that for? Press. What press service do you work for? Sir, what press service do you work for? Do you see the sign, sir? You mean the sign that says I can't go up that hallway? Yeah, I can see that clearly. No trespassing. Uh huh. Okay. Do you not know how signs work? I do. Do you do you not understand uh, how people's psyches work and that they're a little on edge in this town when you walk around and you unwelcomely go in somewhere with videotaping them? On public property. Well, it's government property. If they ask yeah, leave, government is leave. owned by the people. And no, they don't have the right to ask me to leave unless the, do, unless it's closed. Uncomfortable in there. Oh, so you're the feelings me? police. You're not law enforcement? You are exactly right. I'm the feelings police on top of whatever else. Really? You realize and what's your ago, name and badge you number? A, a year ago, we had a shooting, so people are a little bit nervous. What's your name and badge number? You're not helping things. Let's start with you first. You want my name and stuff, and I asked you, hey, sir, how you doing today? You didn't want to say a word to me until I mentioned a sign. So you wanted to banter about the sign. Do you have a name? I do, but you're not getting it. Okay, well. But it's a requirement for you to give your name I mean, and badge number. It's not a requirement. It's a professional courtesy. When oh, really? So it's, yeah, it's, not a it's not part of your uh, your bylaws for your department? No, not that I... Uh, what are we doing here? We're just having a conversation. I'm going to give you my name and badge number for what reason. Aren't you supposed to identify to a citizen when they request it? No, I'm fully marked in the uniform. If you can't get that, you, you ever read signs, a uniform, a patch, you get that. Wow. Get your camera up so I know you know darn well I'm a police officer in my marked patrol unit. So mm -hmm. I think I need to advise you who I am unless you're that shallow. Wow. Which I think you are. I think you are that shallow. You stink of arrogance. No. no. Yeah, you do. No, it's called irritation with people like you that are ignorant people like me yes. oh i'm ignorant this camera stuff yeah. i'm ignorant well, because i know my i know the law i'm ignorant i'm a sovereign citizen but i want to i never I said i was a sovereign citizen me I want. don't associate me with those people well, what, i'm not a sovereign I citizen you with then? nobody nobody i'm independent What is your purpose today, then, sir? Why do we stand here? Just outside? recording you in just public. Trying to get our response, like you did up in Metamora and everywhere else you go. I mean, it's silly. What it's is your silly. purpose, honestly? What is your purpose for videoing? For for having? Well, since you think I've been to all these other oh, dealing with you when somebody else could be, I could be doing traffic. I could be dealing with the criminal cases I'm working on, but instead I'm here talking to 
somebody. Yeah, you can, you can call me Tater Salad. I'm sorry? You can call me Tater Salad. Okay. That's what my friends call me. Sir, I am, unfortunately, I am not your friend. I never said so, you were. No, you said, I'll call me Tater Salad. That's what my friends call me. They had first you want me to be your friend and call you Tater Salad, so that ain't gonna happen. No, that's nonetheless, not, I was not inferring anything. what is our purpose here today? Let's get to Just that. to record What's in public. What's that? Yeah. What is your purpose here today? Just to piss these people off and make them uncomfortable and, and make them stressed out about doing their job? Looking over their shoulder? Well, they have signs in there that say that what, what I'm purpose? doing is 100% legal. Why are you, why are you legal. there to, to videotape? What is the purpose? What type of response are you trying to elicit? What is the end game? Education. I always want education about what? About the lawful rights we have. They're what trying to say. Are you trying to exercise? He was trying to say that I can't record this parking lot, but I'm standing in public, and clearly I can record it because I haven't entered the parking lot. No, but being in this the area you're in, this is there where they load and unload and drop. Uh -huh. And I yep. guess we'll address that to keep people of your ilk to stay away from this area, so they don't have to walk around with their ass tighter than a frog's ass, worried about what knucklehead is going to assault them or doesn't like the U.S. Post Office today. I never said I didn't like the they Post Office. They don't know that. Okay. They don't know that. And you're just... Well, assumptions are just, like assholes. Everybody's got do. one. I'm sorry? Assumptions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. You said it. At exactly. Any rate, at any rate, you run the risk, man. I was wondering. You guys, the fellas like you, you guys that run around, you run the risk. What if somebody just feels like knocking the tar out of you? It's well, like, that's then, a risk we take. And then to show up because, oh, I got assaulted because I made people nervous and I harassed them and I annoyed the shit out of them to the point to where they assaulted me. What, what, what is that going to do? How does quietly and recording in public harass anybody? This is an inanimate object. I get it. But you already know, going out with your little device here, that you're going to elicit a negative response. Oh, no, not always. I'm sorry, nine and a half times out of ten, because every horseshit video you, that you guys put out, that somebody says, here, you got to watch this, and I have to waste time of my life watching that video. All you're doing is pissing people off. You have no function other than to annoy people or upset people. Again, you're assuming. Well, no, I'm telling you, everyone that watches those videos that I've seen watching you, what do these guys do? What is their end game? Just to harass public employees or... People enjoying their dinners at night? What's the end game? What's your purpose? You got a job? Do you do anything? Do you have a function? Other sure than, do. Other than being annoying. I do, thank you. No? Nothing? I'm not being annoying. No, you're about a useless individual in my eyes. Wow. I mean, you're Just not doing, you're not love doing it. anything good here. You sit here and you like a dog chasing his tail around. Oh, I'm gonna go out and exercise my right to videotape and piss people off. I don't, I don't understand to harass and annoy them. All you're accomplishing. Again, you're not using the proper words. Again, you're. Excuse me. I. What you are heard proper me. Proper words. You're not using words by their definition. You're, you're, insinuating I'm doing things that I'm not. No, I. You guys were here. What is the right definition of harassment? Last year. last year, you guys were here. You and your friends were down here. We Remember were? Your, your face and your voice. Oh, okay. And you almost ran the risk of getting a tar knocked out of you that night because there were some people in the one restaurant, the one guy that reached out for your camera. Don't touch my camera. I mean, why would you risk that? For what purpose? For what purpose? They're very on edge in this town, and you're doing yourself no justice. You're doing them no justice. All you're doing is keying them up, making them upset. But I don't understand what the what the end game is here. Well, it's obvious you don't understand. No, I don't. I, I'll never understand what you guys are up to. What the whole point is? You had a specific topic. I, you know, I could understand, but you don't have a topic. You just say I'm out here exercising my right to whatever I'm exercising. You're not exercising your brain. That's my opinion. Okay. You're not, because you're just out here doing nothing. In your opinion. So if you want to, you can stand on the public sidewalk there. Stand on the public sidewalk out front. Get away from their loading area. 
I can stand right here because it's public. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's why these yellow barricades are here? Because they push their carts up and back, and then they push their carts. No, up those are so people don't hit the here. building. They don't want you near their employees loading and unloading the mail. Go ahead and go out front and stand on the side. I can stand right here. Not necessarily, no. Absolutely, I can. <sighs> you got a name? DHS put out a memo in 2010, revised it in 2018. All federal properties. On the exterior, I can record anything I want. Unless it's a restricted area, which those signs right there mean I can't go up on that stairway and I can't go up this hallway. So. What is the purpose, though? So you want to stand here and make these guys feel uncomfortable and not want to do their job? What, what is the purpose? What, you don't get it, you don't get it. I'm not going to bother explaining it to you. Are you trying to get assaulted or something? So you can not at all. Paycheck? What is your purpose? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, maybe someday you'll get it. Huh? Maybe someday you'll get it. No, I don't think I ever will. Hmm. I don't think I ever will because you people just go round and round and you don't ever display anything functional or useful as far as information. You just say, I'm out here attacking my constitutional rights. Okay. Yeah, again, that's your opinion. Well, friend, I'm sorry, but that's the opinion of the majority if you were to ask. If you say so. I, I opened it. Okay. And I love things to do, so you enjoy. Stay out of their area, like you already said, you know. And uh, good luck to you. I hope nobody takes matters into their own hands. All right, man. Have a Merry Christmas. Walk of shame right there. Pretty arrogant son of a bitch right there, too. For a sergeant. Car number three. I think he's extremely mad that I know the law and that he couldn't force me to go out on the sidewalk. He's in there bitching into the radio. Drive of shame. <laughs> Oh no, that's him. Yep, that's him. Uh -oh. How's it going? Uh -oh. What's happening? Oh, just doing a little recording in public and he's really mad about it. I said I'm just doing a little recording in public and he's really mad about it. He is? Yeah. Why? Because they don't think I should be recording here. Why? I don't get it. Exactly. It's public property. <laughs> but I don't get it. What do you mean? You don't look like a bad guy. Exactly. I'm not carrying a firearm or nothing, but... Hey, it's all right. <laughs> Love it, brother. Right? Yeah, because inside there, there's what's called Poster 7. It's the rules and regu regulations that govern the post office. And it says right on there that I can do this. You know, and, and they... What, does somebody call and say you're up here? Mm -hmm. some, some one of these, one of the wall people? Uh, one of the, the postal workers. All right. Yeah. Hey, right, hey, what are you doing, you fire? Good, how are you doing, sir? Where are you? Fine day. What's a fine day? Have a good one, man. Enjoy, drive safe. Always.
He's so angry. And then there's that guy. So now we get to see him do the walk of shame twice. He is so angry. Look at him shake like that. There's something wrong with that guy. So angry. All right, y'all. Again, we're at the uh, Oxford, Michigan, United States Post Office, and we're out of here.